It's Sammy. It's Rachel. It's Anna. It's Nicole. You know, it's half a year and that's crazy. I mean, I've done movies where they're just coming out now. And it's like two and a half years ago that I did them. But, uh, but like Warrior was 24 days of shooting. And that was the most, you know, for myself, the hardest project I've done as an actor because I was on set every day. But I loved it. I loved actually working the whole time and not being in my trailer and not playing video games. And I don't know. It was really cool, but it's such a quick, I mean, 24 days for a full movie is a lot of pages to get done, so. On the note of movies, aside from, from any that you're involved with, is there any movie that you're anticipating this year coming out to see? Harry Potter? <laughs> I have not seen a full Harry Potter movie, so I couldn't, I don't know what to, I, I, I love it, I think it's brilliant, and I've, I think it'd be cool to be in one. But I've just always seen clips of it. And I think I've seen the whole whole movie in its own, but not at one time. Um, when does that come out, actually? July. July. Is that one of those movies that I have to start from, like, movie yeah. one? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. We're on number six now, so you might be... Why can't there be more Twilight books? <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. It's brilliant. Make an Emmett book. That'll be fun. Yeah. Every four. That, that'd be cool to have like a whole book on each character and how they. Then it'd just be me, a whole movie of me. Oh, so, you guys would be bored. Or die laughing, one of the two. Um, what movies are coming? Oh, G.I. Joe is going to be cool. And Star Trek. I can't wait. Transformers, yes, yes. I know. There's a lot of great movies coming out now. But do you have time to go see, I mean, when your schedule is so rigid with everything, when do you get a chance to, like, watch TV and go see movies and, like, be a normal person? Well, at my house uh, in L.A., I got TiVo finally, so it's nice to record what I want to watch now. But, uh, but yeah, we have this local, like, it's really kind of ghetto theater right by our house that <laughs> my roommates and I will, like, walk to, and it's, like, really, really cheap, and uh, so we'll just go there and... And the, the quality is really bad. Like, you can't watch a good action movie, but we'll watch all, like, the horror movies. And, you know, we just saw I Love You Man there. And it's, like, just, it, there's, like, never more than five people in this movie theater. So we're just, like, laughing and throwing gummy bears at the screen. And, you know, seeing what's sticking. And, of course, we pick them up. Do you, do you lick them first and they'll stick? Yeah. And then we pick them up and eat them. Um, you never know who's is who, so we're, we're close like that. <laughs> Bromance going on. Bromance. Dudes being bros, yes. Um, so, yeah. What was the question? No. <laughs> what movies you're going to see this year? Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, on that note, for, for anyone that wasn't here yesterday, music on your iPod. What are you listening to? Oh, Kings of Leon. Come on now. Woo! Love it. <laughs> Paramore, Citizen Cove, Jack Johnson, Damien Marley. Slightly Stupid is amazing. Um, Dane Cook always cracks me up. <laughs> Who else is there? Who was I listening to? Um, Unwritten Law is really good. Until June is awesome if you guys haven't heard them. Uh, who else? Thank you, Miss Led Zeppelin. Beatles. I love Jackson's not listening because I haven't heard you name him at all in there. Who's Jackson? Oh, Michael Jackson's always nice. Oh, and, no. <laughs> I love your look of, are you serious? Yeah. Hundred Monkeys. <laughs> He's, you know what, I, when I went to him and watched, you know, watched him play, Jackson, Jackson and Rob are different people when they're performing and when they just lose themselves in the music. And Jackson is so freaking talented, let alone with the guitar, but he can sing. And then when he has his hair in a bohawk, he's just a different person. And he's, that band's gonna go places. And, you know, it's just great to, being a movie with such a talented person like Jackson. Sweet. <laughs> it was there's all sorts of news stories about um, how huge the soundtrack was before the movie ever came out for Twilight. Yeah. The, the soundtrack just blew up, yeah. 
And so, do you do you have you mentioned Paramore? So, do you have the soundtrack? Do you listen to it? How did, how did you? I do. You know what? Oh my gosh. Um, a, I didn't know Rob was going to be on it. Anyways, I have the, the CDs, the soundtracks in my car right now, and I love track. I think Eleven, which is a. Uh, oh, I'm not going to sing. Uh, you have a run. Um, uh, no. Well, how's it go? Do you guys know what track I'm talking about? Pointless verb? That one. Yes. That's 11, right? That, that is on my mind. I like, I'll work out to it, it just calms me, I'll, I'll, I'll drive, windows down, and it's, I love that, and I love Linkin Park, so the track 4 is awesome. Rob is track 10, right? Yeah. <laughs> love, love that, even though I have no idea what he's saying. Uh, no kidding. But it's beautiful. Um, what else? I love all of Paramore stuff. Um, yeah, I just, I love the, the, the soundtrack's amazing. It's beautiful. The, the song that they chose for the baseball scene was so perfect. The baseball scene is probably my favorite one, just, and the music really enhanced it. It's really neat to see yeah. the two play off each other. It's cool. Definitely enhanced that was one. I, I remember us coming out and we're like, the baseball scene was amazing! Yeah. So, um, are you, you're obviously, you know, you talk about working out in athletics. Is baseball a sport that you play? Um, or, or what is your, your favorite sports to play? Stuff that's like fast action y. Like, baseball is so boring for me to watch. I cannot, I don't understand how people can do it. Um, I just, when I was in Africa, I really got into rugby. And I was in South Africa when they won the title or won the, whatever it's called, I feel bad. Um, what? Championships, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I guess. So. Gosh, my friends are gonna kill me now. Um, but they're like, that's the manliest sport I've ever seen. And they just, I mean, God, they're they're huge and just constant running in like soccer. I hate to run, so I can never really do that. Um, but football was my sport. I love football. I love love being quarterback and receiver. I love being safety because I could duck down and I have big shoulders and I would just lay people out. <laughs> um, basketball was cool, but what was that? Were you imagining me? <laughs> Let's hear about it. <laughs> but baseball, baseball is fun to, wait, what? Processing slowly. Now, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please remember. Bowling's fun. Me. I like bowling. <laughs> Just yeah. let's hear about board games. What do you want to hear? Yeah. I'm gonna make my own board game, by the way. I'm, not, I'm working on it. It's fun to me. My roommates. Uh, I force my roommates. Oh, I'm terrible with board games, by the way. Um, I have so many, and I buy the randomest ones that take forever to learn. And all I need, like, thank God I have four roommates who, you know, just love me to death, I, I hope and I guess. But I'll be like, hey, let's play Monopoly, or hey, let's play Risk. And they'll just sit there. All they have to do is roll the dice, and I'll do everything. I'll <laughs> you know, pay them out. And I always need to win, or I always end up winning, so they never have fun, but they'll just sit through it. They'll watch the basketball game, I'm like, Lance, your turn! He's like, oh. <laughs> you know, you're in jail, Lance, okay, cool. That's three turns I get to sit out, nice. Uh, but we play everything, and then we have game nights, like Ashley and myself, we'll go over there with, a, you know, like 20 people, we'll play 